Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the steel gauges to show live weather data using HTML5 and not Flash. So you go to the uh, weather display download, right scroll right down, you click on here, you want to download it, scroll right to the end. Okay, so it's downloading. And then we're going to unzip this to um, where we got weather display installed. Okay, so we open up that folder. And the first thing we want to do is go to the web server and then scripts. And there's one thing we're going to change here. You want to use Notepad++. It's actually a program you can download. And you've got to change this 0 to 1. See, it says 1 equals weather display. So you've got to change that to 1. And then save that. Okay. And then the other thing you want to do is in the weather server, in the weather display folder, you want to copy that file to your web folders where weather display is installed. Okay. Now, the next step is to, in weather display, make sure you've got your FTP settings set up and the main internet switch is on. And then in the web files web page real time client raw, put that switch on. Now you want to tick this custom client raw and your update rate. Let's just make it a bit faster. And we can go start now. Okay, so that is going to upload the client raw files. Now, just to make sure it's got the faster update rate, we'll actually close that program and just restart it so that it's got the, those update rate settings. So that will upload client raw files to your to your website. Okay, next thing you want to do is to actually go to action, manage the FTP web server, and now we're going to connect to our web server. See that's uploading the files now. So it'll upload the client raw files and the custom client raw file. There we go. Okay, now we want to um, I've got a test directory already just for this, so you double click on that. This is using the latest version of Weather Display because I've improved some things here, like the double click to change directory. Now we've got to go to the folder where the steel gauges are, that one. So we've got to go to now the web server and you want to upload these files here. Now I've enabled multi select, so you hold down shift. And you highlight all the files and then you up select upload and it will upload each file that is multi selected. That's using the latest version. Now, the next thing we got to do is we got to create remote directories to hold all these files here. So we'll create a CSS directory. And then we'll change to that directory and we'll change to that directory and then we'll upload that file and we'll change back and we'll change back and then we've got to create a fonts directory and we'll change that directory and we'll change that directory and then we're going to multi select hold down the shift and then we can upload each of those files. Change back, change back. And then we want to make an images directory. Change that folder, change that folder, upload that file. Change back, change back. And then we're going to make a scripts directory. Change 
change that folder and change that folder and then we're going to upload each of these files here so hold down the shift button on your keyboard and click on each file Now there's one more directory here called the source directory, so we're going to make a new subdirectory here. Double click on that, double click on that, and then multi select. And wait for those files to upload. Right, now that's all the files on the website. So all we've got to do now is actually go to that website. So let's go to um, get the file name. There you go. Web server. So this is the actual file name on the website. And if we just do this, we can get the file name without having to type it in. And then I'll go to my website, and it's under test, and I'll put that in there, which it should work. And she's working. Look at that. 